go. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about dry firing spear guns, basically firing out the water. You've seen those clips and you've seen how dangerous it can be. The big issue with dry firing a gun is you've got to realize that a light gun isn't going to be that violent, whereas a large double rubber gun with a heavy spear is going to be very violent. It's compared to a BB gun, compared to a hunting rifle. If you consider these spear guns are all designed to work underwater. Water is 830 times more dense than air. And these guns are designed to function in that environment. In open air, you have 830 times less density. Therefore, the movement of all the components is going to be 800 times greater. If you have a small movement underwater with a large gun, that's going to be magnified 830 times. Keep that in mind. What often I've seen guys with a light gun, they can hold it out, fairly easy to hold out and fire. Keeps it away from the body, being a single band, light spear, very little recoil. But that missile is either going to get to the end of the line and, and stretch out the bungee and then recoil coil back into you. Fortunately, because of the arc of trajectory, they generally come back lower into your legs, which is better than the eye. The heavier models tend to break the mono, it comes out at such a speed, and the gun will recoil back into you, mostly into your face, but that projectile is now going to travel. I know of spears traveling well over 100 meters, that's 100 yards to our American friends. What happens with the heavier gun is you can't hold it out in front of you like you would in the water because of the mass. So the tendency is to support the gun and then aim like that. As you've seen in the video, we've had several bad concussions, eye sockets damaged, eye wear ending up in the eyes, concussed, and I'm sure there have been a lot of others that are way, way more serious. Uh, I know of a spear coming back through the kneecap um, locking the leg up, can't walk. It's really, really dangerous. So please guys, take heed. In most countries, it's actually an offense to load a spear gun out of the water. And don't think I'm going to shoot it in the water, load it out of the water and fire into the water. That's still a dry fire. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stand by for the next.